Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Empress Aries 888. My name is Tanya. All right, it is what? Wednesday, hump day. But by the time you see this, it'll be Thursday. <laughs> whatever time you tuned in, baby, these are timeless readings. So whatever time you tuned in, I'm happy to see you. Like on the way in, it gives me an energetic donation to my channel and it helps me tune into you. As I mentioned, these are timeless readings. So whenever you press that play button, I believe that spirit was motivating you to do so because there's a message for you. At least that's what I think. But if you feel differently, check your placements. You could have more than one astrological sign in your chart. These are also collective readings, meaning any energy, any sign. And energy does not have a designated gender. But if I do say he or she, please excuse and forgives. It certainly isn't meant to insult anybody. So let's call in spirit, shall we? Let's get this party started. Spirit, guides, and angels of your whitest lights, please give me a clear message for the collective. One that brings healing and hope. Please. And understanding. I may specify. Spirit, please protect my energy as I open myself up to channel these messages. And please protect my beautiful collective. Thank you, Spirit, for all of your guidance. We certainly do appreciate you and we love you. Amen. All right. Let's get this party started. Now, what I did ask Spirit for was a song. And I do ask for songs or what is the overall message. And sometimes there is a message, but most of the time there is a song. Because when you think about music, music is so moving and motivating. And a lot of times there is messages within a message in a song. So the song that Spirit was presenting today or was pointing out to me today I should say was through the fire and that's by Shaka Khan to the limits to the wall for a chance to be with you I'd gladly risk it all through the fire through whatever comes what may for a chance at loving you I'd take it all the way and it's a beautiful song and Shaka Khan, I mean, with that voice, those pipes, my God. It's just absolutely a beautiful, beautiful song. Highly recommend you tune into it and listen to it. Beautiful message there. And it's basically a person, whether it's you or your person, saying, whatever it takes, I will risk everything for you. Maybe this is something that they weren't willing to do in the past. Take what resonates. I could be saying you and meaning your person. I could be saying your person and meaning you. Flip the roles as you see fit because you know your story better than I do. But maybe you didn't understand it fully and that's why you're tuning in. And I certainly do appreciate you doing so. And I am humbled and honored to be able to bring you these messages. I know sometimes they're not an easy thing to hear. But they're necessary for your healing and for your journey, and for your understanding. And that's why we as Tower Readers are here. We're here to help you along with your journey. We are going through our own journeys, but if we can help out another person, at least that's how I feel, that's what I'm here for. That's what Spirit is motivating me to do, and I'm honored to do it. And thank you for tuning in. Every single reading, for those that are very loyal to me, I certainly do appreciate that. Thank you so much for tuning in and showing up. It makes it worthwhile. It makes me happy to be able to continue to do this for you. Okay. So what I'm hearing here is that in the past, there was an energy of a undecided person, a person that took a different path, but now they're realizing that you were it all along and they're willing to risk whatever it is that they got going on now, let it go so that they can come towards you. Let's see what the cards have to say to verify this. Spirit, can you give me a message, please? Messages, message, whatever. It, you know what I mean, Spirit. Some cards to clarify what I'm hearing when I'm channeling. Confirm it. 
Spreader Spirit. Now this one is not as chatty, this deck. Oh, it is, it is, it is, it is. It's coming out, it's coming out! <laughs> That's my word. You ask and spirit shall deliver. That's how it works, man. It's amazing. It's amazing, baby. Oh, no. Oh, boy. <sighs> well, I didn't say it was a love reading, so I'm just going to say that right off the jump. It ain't a love reading. There's some stuff here that you need to know. Yeah. Things are happening behind the scenes here, and it's not good. This is for some of you. All right, fewer messages. Oh, God. Oh. oh, my word, spirit. What is going down here? Oh, my God. Are you serious? Why must this be that kind of reading all the time? Oh, I can't. I can't. Spirit, fix it. Oh, I can't. All right. Time out. We need a time out. Okay, because this isn't good. This is not good at all. It's ridiculous already. Or as I like to say, I like to use Dunkin' Donuts analogies. It's ridiculous what's happening here. I, I just, I'm just disgusted. Why do I have to read these things, Spirit? Oh my God. <sighs> Whatever. Let's get to it. Let's just get to it. I'm just sick of it already. It's, it's just unreal. Unreal. Okay. They look at you as fierce. Hidden enemy. Wish fulfillment. Bad habits. Empowered. Secrets revealed. Change of heart. Do I need to say more? Secret love. Mind games. Fear of change. Oh, the one I love the most, everybody. Black magic. Ridiculous. Commitment. You changed. Coming towards you. I never thought you would walk away. Know your worth. Do I have this almost every reading? Reconciliation. Dear God. All right. You knew your worth and you walked away from this connection. And they never thought that you would. They never thought you would. You changed, though, in that time period of separation from your person. They could be in a commitment with somebody else. But I feel like they want to commit to you. It could be both. It could be in a commitment with another person. And why I'm saying this is because of this sucking card, which I'm getting sick of seeing. Black magic. Black magic. It ain't good. It ain't good. They had a fear of change and they played mind games with you. This one goes hand in hand. Mind games and fear of change. Your person. And it wasn't the black magic from your person. This is outside influences that are creating this black magic. They have a secret love. That's you. They're hiding this. Why? <clears throat> because haters gonna hate. And these are the people that are performing black magic on you and your person. Keeping them stuck. They had a change of heart with you. Because you are their secret love. It took them a while though. It took them a while to come to this conclusion. They've seen you change. They've seen, you know, differences in you. They, You love yourself now and you didn't before. And they were trying to manipulate you to stay with them. They didn't tell you their truth. Secrets are being revealed about this black magic, toxic posse, friend set, possible karmic that are playing games behind the scenes to keep your person stuck. But you empowered yourself and walked away. You knew your worth and you let go. They see that empowerment. But they have bad habits that created this situation in the first place. The negativity, the toxicity of your person drew these people in, man, like a magnet. But you're their wish fulfillment. 
But this is not a surprise here. When you see black magic and you see haters, what do you got? A hidden enemy. So this is there's a hidden enemy in this connection. That's the caveat. There's a person that your person knows that is performing black magic on them that is a friend of theirs. 10-10 on the clock. And they're fierce about it. They look at you as fierce, but this person's fierce in their hatred for your person and for you. But they want a reconciliation. But they are being blocked by the toxic policy that are performing black magic. Secrets are being revealed about this toxicity with this, these karmics. I'm going to call them that because I could call them other things because it's absolutely ridiculous to put be doing this nonsense. It's really sickening already, man. It's a desperate attempt to keep a person stuck. It's a desperate attempt to keep a person in general. It ain't going to work. It's just ridiculous. It's just sickening already. Black magic. I, I just don't understand people that do that stuff. I just don't. I just don't, man. All right. Let's get into the second half of my cards. See if there's any more information that spirit can enlighten us about this toxic posse. About these haters. About whatever secrets that are being revealed about this toxicity. About this black magic that's being performed to change the direction that your person is walking in now you walked away and this toxic posse believed that you were going for good and they were happy about that baby celebrating in fact let's have another round on me yeah let's go let's have another round yeah Chichin. She's on. I'll drink to that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. Yeah. We finally got rid of her. Now we got the person all to ourselves. No, you didn't. You just played into spirit's hand because it was meant to happen it was divine intervention you didn't win you drank up for nothing you were played by spirit this person was toxic so instead of you having to go through the hell of being with a person like that spirit took you out of that situation you walked away and I don't believe you even wanted to walk away. I don't even believe that you really thought you would ever walk away. They didn't even think you would ever walk away. That's how invested you were in this person. The spirit's like, you're going to walk away. Your ancestors, you're going to walk away. Because this person's no good for you right now. And neither are their friends. This toxic posse. So you were divinely guided to step on out. Right? Get the step in. So they can celebrate all they want. But that was divinely planned, baby. They're karmics. <clears throat> They're not meant to have you forever. Or your person forever. It's for now, baby. So, drink up. Celebration's gonna end very soon. Sorry to disappoint you. Sorry to disappoint you. Because your person is growing, and changing, and getting the point. The secrets are being revealed to them. Not to you. To your person. They're getting the 411 on what these people are about. Yeah. And so, which means information for all you kids out there that don't know 411. Years ago, we used to have what is called telephones, not cell phones telephones actual phones connected to the wall in your house <gasps> what I ask your parents i'm not even kidding you google it and so what you would do is if you wanted information like a phone number or something you would dial 411 on the dial pad and an operator would come on and they would give you whether it's a phone number an address whatever i know cool right it was cool in its time but that's what 411 represents <laughs> just in case you don't know baby now you know all right, Spirit, give me some more information on these haters. Haters gonna hate, haters gonna hate. Yeah. 
And this is the problem. This is the, the thing. You need a time to heal. Heal from the toxicity of this connection and from the rejection of your person because they did reject you. And they did choose their friends over you and they possibly chose another karmic over you. This is a past person though. This is not a person that's new. No, no, you know him. You know him. And this is going to resonate with whoever it is. Now, you might not have known the whole circumstances behind why this separation happened. You might not even know that your person was toxic. You might not know that their friends hated you. Sorry to have to inform you of that. Truly, I am. But you knew that there was something that you had to walk away from. You knew there was something to miss, even if it was subconsciously inside. It was time to go. You just felt it. It was time to go. And so you made that move, which was very painful. It's almost like a band-aid with the skin attached and you have to rip it out, right? It was not easy. And if your person thought that, they were wrong. It hurt for a long, long time. So these people can high-five each other and celebrate all they want and thought it was great to block you, to hurt you like that. It was only jealousy because you were awesome. Too awesome. Too cool for that toxic posse. They didn't accept you. But you didn't need to be accepted by them. And it doesn't matter what they think. Your person never forgot you. And never stopped loving you. So they can high five each other all they want. You're never truly disconnected from your person. They didn't win anything. They just played into whatever spirit wanted for you to, whatever destined plan that there is. Who's laughing now, baby? All right, give me some more. Thank you. Addictions. Your person has addictions. Whether it's alcohol, whether it's gambling, whether it's drugs, they have addictive personality. And that's why the toxic posse could relate to them and wanted them as part of their group. But there was more to this than just toxicity and addictions. There's a lot more to this story. Spirit, can you give me some more on this story, please? Yeah, there was no limits. No limits to what they would do to keep your person stuck with them. Why, though? Why, Spirit? Why do they want to keep them stuck? Yeah, their family. Family members, they didn't want to lose them. As part of their family. Maybe they're friends, but they're like family. They've been together a long time. And very, you know, close-knit. Hang out on the weekends with each other. Do things together. That type of thing. And they didn't want to lose them. But this is how they feel about you. I can't let you go. They never really did. They let you walk. I'm not saying they didn't. But look what's happening here. They're coming up with a plan to come back. Yeah. They, because what? They need you. It isn't, it isn't as simple as what the toxic posse thought. They thought they could push him away and then eventually they would get over it. It's not like that. They can't get over you. They want you to contact them. Tried to make you react. Maybe they threw other uh, individuals in front of you, like, um, what is it called? Making you jealous. But you're misindependent, baby. You don't need it. You didn't need it and you walked from it. They make you make them nervous so it's hard for them to like just outright come towards you because they don't know how you're going to take them you could be in a queen of swords energy very defensive there's an age difference between the two of you you could be older or younger take it how it resonates they could be younger than you or older but they watch you all the time they're on it baby they're on it they watch you like tv as they say but they betrayed you with other people and with this toxic posse. Yep, they hold you in high honor, though. They do. Even if this, their friends don't, they hold you personally. And they keep it a secret, though. They don't show their hand to the friends because they know their friends don't approve of you in the situation. 
Use your intuition, though, when they come towards you, because, baby, they're coming. Like a freight train, man. And they want to tell you they're sorry. They are sorry. Even if they've never said that to you, they are sorry for what happened. Spirit, confirm this, please, a little bit more about this toxic policy and what happened here. What is going on, please, Spirit? <laughs> it's feather. Birds of a feather flock together, baby. And maybe that's what they said to him. You're like, you know, you're just like us. But I really don't believe that your person is. I think your person got involved with these people. Maybe they work with this person. Uh, these these toxic people, these friends, these family members that are like fr friends that are like family members, and they got close to them, and they got you know into a lot of stuff with these people, drinking, gambling, whatever the case may be, sex capades, the whole nine yards got introduced to people by this toxic family members, you know, these karmics, and went, as and went astray. Turned from you, who they truly wanted to be with. I think there's one big hidden enemy that secretly competes with them. That's their best friend. And this person is jealous of, this, of your person and doesn't want them to be happy. Already thinks they got enough in life. What do they need any more for? In sense of, you know, they might be good looking, body by Jake, nice personality. Why do they need to be 100% with somebody? Now they're going to be happy. Now they're going to have this wonderful life. Like they deserve everything in life while I get nothing. I'm telling you, it's complete jealousy. Complete jealousy. And it's overburdening your person, Ten of Wands, to make this choice between the toxic posse and you. Uh, it really is. Ten of Wands is the Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. It's a nightmare for this person. Uh, Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, they didn't put any effort, no commitment. Not, you know, they're a workaholic. They might be a spender, that type of thing. Might be in debt. You know, they, they're suffering from lack in the sense of money. They put a lot of effort into working and they spend it just as quickly. Or they could be with their karmic and the karmic spends it quickly. Take it how it resonates. But it feels like they are a material person. And they have turned to material things since the separation between the two of you. Like, what the hell do I got to lose now? You know, that type of thing. Justice. Karmic justice is going to happen in this connection, though. Cause and effect. They are learning life lessons. They are learning about this toxic posse. They're learning about their ways. Secrets are going to be revealed about these hidden enemies that are sabotaging you and your person. You will get justice in this connection. The hermit in reverse. They're very lonely without you. But they might be an immature energy though. It's in reverse. Five of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They want a peaceful resolution with you though. They really do. They want a commitment with you. They want to communicate with you. They want to find a, a happy medium. The problem is their friend said is not going to allow it. It's either them or you. That's basically the gauntlet that's been, you know cast down at this point two of pentacles in reverse they're very overwhelmed as it mentioned again at making this decision four of wands but they want that reunion and stability they realize that it's always been with you all along they love you they love you 23 23 in the clock but it's like they fear the toxic posse these these family members and what they're going to say and do yeah they're with this queen of wands right now aries leo sagittarius in the chart very jealous and vengeful person, very malicious. This is the person that the toxic posse turned them on to. This is the person they turned away from you for. Sun in reverse, and they're very lonely and sad. Very depressed about it. You know, they're not happy with this comic. And it goes to the floor. Hold up. I'm oh, sorry about that. I had to get them off the floor. Okay, but they're eight of cups. Cups is, what is it? It's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But they are nostalgic. They want a reunion with you, though. They want to reconcile. They're thinking about you so heavily, feeling so bad about this really loss without you. Queen of Pentacles, they look at you as successful, committed, financially stable, very independent, is independent, abundant. They see you as successful. They're watching you. That's why. They're watching you glow up. They're watching your transformation. They're watching. They're watching you like a hawk in the sky. I want to swoop down and take you, baby. King of Swords. Yeah, they're very intelligent. But could be a head over heart type of person. It could be a very cool person. Somebody that, you know, has 
you really don't know their emotions because they really don't show their emotions a whole lot they keep their emotions close to their vest as they say but that's the person that's wanting you that's the person that's looking at you that's the person that's watching you and thinking about you day and night it's the person that loves you eight of wands they want to take action the quick swift action they want to move on in they miss you they miss you they really do they miss your conversations with them they miss having you in your in their life but the page of swords in reverse there's a lot of gossip about this connection very malicious very insulting people manipulating your person to stay with them like this queen um i believe it's the queen of swords is it let me see yeah the queen of wands in reverse this person is very malicious to your person very manipulative to your person so is the toxic posse that is against this connection too you must be doing something right to have that many frenemies <laughs> you must be baby keep going nine of cups in reverse and it's left them very unhappy and emotionally drained they're, they're miserable without you they're miserable without you they made a bad decision and they know it and it's like they're stuck they feel bounded to these people and they don't know what to do but you're their ten of cups you're their complete happiness that is like one of the best cards in the deck and it's in the upright prosperity abundance everything you could possibly want the ultimate of happiness they see that with you seven of wands but they yielded to this and surrendered to this toxic posse and went towards an, in another direction with a person that they're not even happy with that they don't even love they don't even love this person and this person sure in hell doesn't love them it's not about that could have been about the sex could have been about the aesthetics what they look like but it wasn't love don't ever get that twisted don't ever feel bad about yourself or look at yourself and say i can't compare to this person you don't have to you're above that you don't have to compare to anybody. If your person couldn't see your worth, you did. Spirit sees your worth. And they'll send your high level soulmate to see your worth. Don't you ever be worried about that. Don't ever compare yourself to anybody else because you are an original. They ain't no copycats, baby, with this one. You always stand tall. Feel good about yourself. Don't ever let anybody make you feel bad. I don't care how many people are against you. God is with you spirits with you divine whatever you want to call it you're never alone don't ever feel that way and you're always loved never forget that four of cups in the reverse and they want to let go they want to choose happiness over this even though this is difficult i'm not i'm not even going to minimize this crap because it's like it's so difficult when you when you identify yourself in a group setting with other people and you have had shared memories with people like a family in a sense you know and you have to give up these people in order to gain something that you're unsure of that you're not quite buying into yet you don't know for sure whether or not it's going to work out you're taking a gamble and a risk and these people have been with your person for a long time and the idea of walking away from these people in order to go towards you it's like an ultimate sacrifice for this person it's like can i do this can i walk away from these people can i walk away from this family that that's all i've known forever you know four 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 on the, on the clock it's like it's very difficult i'm not going to minimize it but the idea of this of the separation between you is killing them it's like i either go towards because they know that there is no other option here these family members friends that are family members are never going to accept you and they know that they're getting the point of this the secret is being revealed that they don't like you that they hate you for no reason because you didn't deserve the hatred it's their own lack their own feelings of self-worth their own lack of confidence their own jealousies has nothing to do with anything you did wrong to these people because you didn't you didn't do anything wrong to these people that's their problem but it's become your person's problem because they don't like you and they want them to like you so they're up against a bunch of people it's like you know you say if it's one person okay two people whatever this is a bunch of people here that are in their group set that don't like you for no reason 
you didn't do anything wrong. Five, five, five on the clock here. So what do they do? So that's why time has gone by and they're in their head and they're in their anxiety and they're overburdened because they haven't made the choice. They've been stuck not making the choice, living their life, going on every day, barely able to survive in their mind. They're going crazy because they're not with you. They're seeing you move on without them and they desperately want to grab you and say, please don't leave me. But then they have to deal with these people that are in their face, let her go. Why are you still worried about her? Just walk away already. You know, she's not worth it. Ace of Wands, new beginnings. But they feel you are worth it. All day long, they see your worth, even if their friends don't. But see, this is the problem. Death, it has to take place in order for this reunion to happen. This transformation, in order for this beginning to happen, an end has to happen with them. Because it's a choice your person has to make. Because that's the gauntlet that they've thrown down. Us or them. Us or her. Make the choice. So all this time, they haven't made the choice, so this toxic posse thought it was them. But really, it was an indecision. It had nothing to do with they were making a choice. They thought they could walk away from you at one time. I'm not going to lie. They did. They thought they could walk away from you. They thought they could get over you. They thought that they could find this, this karmic, this queen of wands in reverse, and that this was the embodiment of everything that they wanted because their friends told them that. This is the one, not that one. It's this one. This is everything you could have wanted in a person. Sexy, young, body, wonderful. You'll be happy with this person. Forget the other one. Forget the other one. And they never could. They never will. They will live their whole life. And I'm not even lying to you. Okay? I'm not even lying to you. If they grow old and they die, which we all do, right? Some of us earlier than later. Some of us sooner than, than we expected, but whatever. The point is, they will live their whole life until their last breath worrying about you. They will live their whole life and take their last breath wishing to God they would have made a better choice. They will die alone inside, even if they're surrounded by people, because you were not in their life. Bottom line. It's either you or nothing else matters. Nothing else comes close to you. Not in this person's mind, not ever. Not in their heart, not in their mind. If they choose to keep with this person, stay with this toxic posse, these karmic family members, they will die with you on their mind and regret in their heart, and they will never get over you. Ever. They will never get over you. They will die broken because they never had you. That's the bottom line, and that's the God's honest truth. So... These people can celebrate, but what are they celebrating? The crushing of a person, the ruin of a person, the heart breaking inside every day because they're not with their person. You want to celebrate that? What kind of family members are you? What kind of person does that? You ain't very good friends, I can promise you that. You're playing a very good karmic role. That's true, teaching this person the lessons they need to learn. You ain't a friend. No friend would ever want their person their friend their friend their family member whatever they would never want them to go through that kind of hell and if you do it's because you never liked them in the first place let's face it you were never truly their friend at all you never were so you can say you're looking out for their best interest you're only looking out for your own you never loved this person you never gave a damn about them <laughs> you're just using them for whatever you can get off of them whether it's money whether it's accolades whether it's respect whatever it is it's pathetic to use black magic to keep people stuck. To badmouth a person that they truly love because you don't have love in your life. Because the love that you have, you don't even respect or want. The person you're with, you can't even stand them. You wish you could get away from them, but it would look bad to other people because you have children with them. So you want to make your person, your friend, miserable like you are. You don't want them to have happiness because you'll never have it. You were never a friend at all in the first place. But with that said, all this great black magic that you're pulling out of your hat, right, wizard? It's only getting stuck on you, baby. 
you're the one that's going to be karmically damaged for the rest of your life with generational curses on your family, whatever children you have, with this person that you can't even stand looking at. It is not your friend's fault. 11-11 on the clock. It's yours. Your bad choices. Nobody's keeping you stuck any more than you. You're keeping your person, your friend stuck. But you're feeling stuck yourself. But that is the cards that you were handed. But your friend doesn't deserve this fate. And yet you keep putting them in a situation where they're stuck with you. Because you don't want to be alone in your miserable situation. You want to have somebody with you. How sad for you. Because eventually, eventually, your so-called friend, that you call a friend, but you treat them like crap, that person's going to break away from you. And you're still going to get stuck. And you're still going to stay in that situation. And they're going to be gone. Going on to their blessings, their abundance, their happiness. And what did you actually gain out of this? nothing so raise a toast to that baby hmm. raise a toast to that all right let's go on to situations and let's get a little bit more information about what happened here with this karmic friend this toxic posse this love black magic spirit come through as you often do baby tell me about it baby go let's get some more understanding for the person viewing you are the divine feminine they are recalling nostalgia again you in their whatever time period you were with them all the memories they had the conversations they're recalling that they can't forget you they keep recalling and on the floor again don't you just love it not really and they're feeling in a mental prison because of it. Locked down. Because of this toxic posse as well as the karmic that they're with. They're not happy. And they feel like time is running out for them because you're moving on without them. What choice do you have, right? The, st the sun still rises and sets every single day. Time marches on whether we want it to or not. Just because your person's stuck, you keep moving. That's how it goes how it goes they desire you again they may be entrapped in a pregnancy or with a person they have a family with this, this karmic it could be money situations that keep them attached to this person yeah. and they're pulling on their heartstrings you belong with me you're my family now you know but there's an intervention that's going to be happening the spirit's going to step in the comic cycle that they're in right now is going to come to an end. Death is going to happen. Can't make it up. Verge. They're about to confess their feelings. They've been wanting to for a long time. They've been wanting to tell you how they feel for a long time. Yeah. They're sending you telepathic messages, dreams, and songs through the fire. They're willing to give up everything they have to be with you. For a chance to be with you, I'd gladly risk it all. That's how they feel. Give up everything that they worked for. Just for a chance to be with you. Because they love you that much. That's powerful, man. They're your divine masculine. Yep. Any more spirit. You're their obsession. They're watching, viewing. I'm watching you like TV. They love you. And it's worth turning aside from people, situations, and just the family to be with you because it's a poison. It's toxic. The connections are toxic. It's unhealthy behaviors and patterns, bad habits, all these people have. And they're realizing it. it's poisoning them. And this black magic could very well be poisoning them in their food. Giving them things to keep them binded, blinded away from you and bound to them. They want to escape. 
Yeah, they want to escape. They want to walk away. They really do. But they have to heal from this toxicity, from this karmic family. Karmic can't make it up, baby. Can't make it up. Yeah, third party relationship and lessons. But you're the little dirty little secret man. They keep it from their family because they don't tell them how they feel about you. But retaliation is here. And that's what they're worried about. The punishment, the payback, and the revenge that these people are threatening if they leave. That they won't be part of the family anymore. That we won't be by your side when you do. if you make this choice. We're not going to stand by you with this. But it's uncon un unconven unconventional. Unconditional! Stop it! Don't be trying you're trying to stop me from saying these things and it's not gonna happen kids it's not unconditional love it is you can't stop what's happening here you can't stop me from saying it and i know that there's people out there that are trying to shut me up from saying these you know giving these readings and talking about this toxic posse that i've been saying all along these are like continuing stories of the toxic posse people don't want me to say these things people want me to shut up about it but i'm not going to spirit is not going to allow me to shut up about this i'm going to keep saying it and i'm going to keep revealing you for who you are 1717 17 on the clock you're toxic you're poison and you're probably poisoning this poor person that only wanted to be your friend they trusted you and you've broke their trust in the ultimate way and i am not going to shut up about it I'm not they deserve better than that they deserve me to tell the truth to them and i'm going to keep doing it you're not going to stop me <laughs> hell no you are never going to stop me you can keep trying baby but you know what spirit's going to do to somebody that tries to stop me? Keep doing it and find out. Denial. Yeah. They didn't want to face the truth about this toxic posse. They didn't want to face the truth when they lied about you. They wanted to believe them. But now secrets are being revealed. And the truth is coming out. 18, 18 on the clock. Can't make it up. Tragedy, though. They feel like it's a forbidden love because it's really denied by the families. They're like Romeo and Juliet type of thing with the families. Didn't want them together, but it's going to happen. They're plugged into you, though, on the internet, man. They're watching you. They love you, but they feel like their life is a roller coaster ride of ups and downs. You know? But you give them a real rush more than anybody else. That's why they can't quit you. You know, they can't forget you. Yeah, social media profile, fake accounts. They're watching you and all of it, baby. Don't even worry about it. But this is what's going to end up happening. They want to meet with you. But this is what's going to end up happening to this karmic connections, divorce, endings. That is what's going to happen. It's going to be final. Yeah. They want to prove to you that they love you. They really do. Thank you, Spirit. Because you're magnetic to this person. You're magnetic. They're going to be moving. Physically moving their location. They want to change. They want to come towards you. 1919 on the clock. Yeah, they feel trapped, but that lock is going to is gonna loosen. They're going to find the key. Spirit's going to give them the key, and they're going to be gone. They're crushed and lonely without you. And meditation is what they need to cleanse their space, cleanse their heart, heal, pray. This is what they need. This is what you both need. This is all I have for you today. There is hope here. There really is hope. Spirit is not going to let you let this go. Spirit is not going to let the two of you go. Because there is something about this connection that's spiritually driven. It's meant to be together. You two are meant to be together. And it is going to converge. The both of you, your vibrations are going to match and you're going to meet up again. Have faith in that. Because you're going to get through this. 2020 on the clock thank you so much for joining me for empress aries 88 please like and subscribe and join my tribe i'd love to have you until next time be safe out there my friends be blessed